Now, uh, American drama again, and one okay. that was sort of a bit more sort of risque going into uh, what was the first HBO drama. And oddly, another one that I watched with my mum, which you wouldn't think of, but it was Six Feet Under. Was is the third one? Oh, here. Your list is so annoying. I hate you so much. It's so cool and with it, and oh god. Uh, yeah, go um, on. Again, is one of those shows where it was just very, very different, wasn't it? It was like. Set in a funeral home, um, his family business, one son uh, who's sort of in the closet, a uh, gay man, has worked all the time for the family business. The dad dies in the first episode and the sort of prodigal son, played by Peter Krause, the other son played mm-hmm. by Michael C. Hall, comes back to run the business with his brother. And it is very much character based with that element yeah. that death is all around us. Um, famously, every episode started with a death. It started with the death of the character who then would come into the funeral home and whose f- whose funeral the episode would sort of be based around, but it was based around primarily the two brothers, the obviously the Michael C. Hall coming out of the closet as it went on, Peter Krause finding a relationship with uh, Rachel Griffiths' character, Brenda, Lauren Ambrose, who was excellent as the sister, Claire, and Frances Conroy as the mother as well. Whose name was? Uh, what the name of the character? Ruth. Oh God, Ruth, 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 Ruth Fisher. Fisher, Ruth Fisher family. It was such a brilliantly constructed series. There was a lot of humour in it. There was a lot of, a lot of emotional moments, and it does have one of the best final episodes of any series ever. I don't think the quality ever dipped either, and I think the characters evolved over time, and you don't always get that with TV series. You believed in these characters. These are Matt's Desert Island dramas. You know, Rico, I'm a homo. I may not dress like Jackie Kennedy, but I have sex with men. Don't... Don't talk to me about that. All right? Why should I have to hide it from you? You change your baby's diaper in my house. You show me a videotape of your wife giving birth. Where I come from, if men need to do that sometimes, they don't talk about it. They don't leave their wife and kids. They're still men. I am a man. The dramas that shaped us. Um, well, once again, very much like my uncle, is there any chance we can get Matt's mum on the podcast? I know, I'm thinking... Uh, thinking I think I've been... He does also the like Judge people. John Deed and... Uh, oh, well, there you are. Yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> I know, but it'd be very... Maybe because you fancy Martin Shaw. It, just, okay. a, just as Judge John Deed and not as George Gently, though. Interesting, it must be the road. It's interesting how family members influence your television. I think, I, yeah, I think gone down, but she does love Happy Valley. Um, yeah. As, as you know, me talking about it before, she also likes, like, you know, come dine with me. And, and don't tell the bride. Don't tell the bride and <laughs> place in the sun um, and things like that. Gary, it's a, it's a US drama that is gets a lot of praise. I just find it, when you're, I just find it spellbinding six feet under. I just think it's brilliant, but... It's not one I've heard you talk about or praise. No, or... You well, really enjoyed Brothers and Sisters, though, which was... Well, I didn't enjoy... <laughs> the... Well, no, I didn't. No, let's get this right. I watched the first series of Brothers and Sisters. Okay. I wouldn't say I enjoyed okay. it tremendously. Six Feet Under is one of those ones that I just never got, I think. It's on the famed list. I'd have to say that. Um, oh and and obviously, one of the things is that I, Peter Krause has gone on and done a lot of good things. Obviously, Michael C. Hall has gone on and done Dexter. So there's some great names in it. I just think as well, the other thing that didn't appeal to me was I didn't like the death thing. So, I mean, if you don't like... <laughs> no, but like, I wasn't... It's kind like of crucial, like isn't the it? the 70s element. Of, in uh, Life on Mars. It's in the same way that Mad Men, I didn't like advertising. So... But I have to say, I don't know whether my love of it is influenced by the fact that I got the entire box set for like three pound fifty at yeah, a charity this is shop. One of the only things that I watched, <laughs> I watched this sort of very much chronologically, uh, mm. yeah, linearly. It was on E4 and maybe then more four. I'm not sure. Yeah, I believe so. Four, I think. Yeah. 